All right, I'm standing in front of these three hives here. Mosquitoes are bad today. Uh, I'm going to be checking on those. I harvested honey last week. They were all looking pretty strong. So I'm hoping they're still looking strong and seeing if they need to be supered up or anything. All right, of these three hives, this one here has been the most problematic this year. Kind of slow going. We'll see. And finally, I added a honey super a week or two ago. There are bees up in the honey super. So that's good. Try that again. All right. So that looks good. There is no excluder on this one, so there's not much uh, going on in this super. I just want to make sure they're queen right and everything's looking good. So, a little bit of a burr comb, no biggie. They're pretty quiet, which is good. Usually when it's quiet like this, it indicates that they're queen, right? I'm going to open up right about here. There's honey. This is the second deep, the top deep. I'm making sure it's not honey bound or anything like that. Ah! very muddy in this area so I have these boards I step on but one just flipped over all right. this is all honey I can feel it now so solid honey on this one that doesn't mean anything I need a place to put it though all right I don't want to I do see some brood in the next frame. So that's where the brood chamber begins. Get a little jumpy, I'll smoke them. I see some bird combing. I put in some wild wonky combs in here. Hoping they draw it out. They keep bumping my hands. So here you can see there is brood. They haven't drawn this next one out at all. So that doesn't mean... All right, actually I lied. They haven't drawn out one side of it. The other side... They're brooding up. So that's good. And I added that one not too long ago. There's a bunch of cells that they're just like ignoring. I don't see any larva, which is somewhat distressing. Oh, almost got stung there, pinched one. They're okay. A little jumpier than I'd like. I'd like to see, oh, I see some larva. So there are some larva in this one. I don't know if you can see this. Try to give you some different angles. And do I see eggs? I do, I see eggs. So that's all I need to see from this one. So I'm gonna gently put this one back down. Again, this one's still a little funny. These are jumpy. I really like my hand. We'll just put it back together. Call it quits and hope. We'll start drawing the super and the, the rest of that one frame. Not quite. Yeah, they are really flying into my hand. There we go. Yeah, let's put this one back together. All right, 
right, this last one. Hopefully this one's going good. Haven't had to add a honey super. I did bring one out. It'd be nice if I could add it. Although all of my supers are pretty much going to get pulled in about no more than two weeks from now. So this one is full up to the top. This one does have a queen excluder. So yeah, it's full, not mostly capped, so that's good. Lots of bees in there. I love the full ones on my bad back. smoke to these guys these ones aren't too bad considering how crowded they are there's a lot of honey up top I hope I don't have to go down into the lower super again I'm gonna try to pull one from the middle and see now one that's this crowded with a full honey super, this would be one that you kind of monitor for uh, swarming. All right, so hard to see in this light. There are no lays that I can see in there. On this side. Not really, which is interesting, because this is a perfect frame to lay in. So I hope they're not queenless. But if they're queenless, it doesn't look like they swarm. There's a lot of bees in here and a lot of honey. This one's empty too. I'm gonna go the other direction. We've had a bit of a dearth, so maybe Queen's just slowing down in the dearth. No pollen coming in. Next week I'm going to have pollen. Now this is a heavy brood frame, but it's all old brood. This is like really brown brood. None of it's hatching out yet. Look at that nice frame of brood though, that's a good pattern. That real brown brood is ready to hatch. I might take that empty frame and put it between some of these brood frames. I'm going to give it a week either way. I'll put a, a warning rock on here to remind me that I didn't see any eggs or larvae yet. I'm going to go one more over. She could be in the bottom box, but this is also what it looks like when a hive swarms. I got some uh, drone comb. Alright, so I have some larva here. That's good. But it's not, it's probably a day or two out from being capped. I go one more. Oh, this got crazy here. They did some crazy workmanship. Can't believe I didn't see that last time. Should clean it up. So this is my crazy workmanship here. See all this drone brood there? Alright, so I do see three day old. I don't see any eggs. The next frame is all honey. I see a Super seizure cup. I don't want to tip it up and see. It's not finished. I'm going to get all this drone brood off of here. So they, they totally did some cross combing and this big piece of drone brood and 
sadly, all this work they put into it, I'm just gonna chuck it into the woods. So there we go. Because drone is where the uh, where the mites are usually. I'm just looking to see if I can find an egg. In this in this super seizure cup, I don't see any. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's weird. All right, so just out of curiosity, I'm gonna go back to where I started. Move all these down. Oh, that went too fast. There we go. I'm gonna go one frame over here from where I started and see what we got. Cause maybe there's some. I don't want to pull up. I haven't broken any queen cells, so I don't want to pull up this box. But I will check one more frame. And then put it back together. And put a red rock on it. Yep. Nothing. And more. Oh, well, I do see. I do see some more larvae, but again, these are. I'll go one more over. Those larvas are like five days old. So there was a queen here five days ago. Smoke these, they're getting a little frisky. By the way they're acting, it makes me think they might be uh, queenless. There might be queen cells somewhere in there. In case you didn't know the procedure, the way it works is they make queen cells and then, here's more larva, no eggs. Wait. Not eggs, but I see young enough larvae to make a queen cell. Two to three day old. That's good. All right, so I went through those three hives and I went through actually a bunch of hives today, probably over 20. And it was a mixed bag. Some of the hives at my one location were busting with honey, filled supers already capped. Even they were, they were filling up the second deep with honey and capped. And I had to actually move frames around to give them room for the queen. And then other places, little to no action. And that's the way it goes here in Michigan. In July, sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss. But, Bee populations look good. I had evidence of queens, so everything was looking okay, so I wasn't too disappointed.